Hello, and thanks for your interest in Mail Conductor. Mail Conductor is a free service that allows Gmail users to schedule future dated and recurring emails right from within Gmail, desktop or mobile. Let's get started by installing Mail Conductor to your Gmail account. To do this, visit www.mailconductor.com and click the Install button. If you're not already signed into a Google property, you'll be prompted to sign in. Be sure to use the credentials associated with the Gmail account on which you'd like to use Mail Conductor. If you have more than one Gmail account from which you'd like to send scheduled messages, you can repeat the installation steps for each account. This screen is Google telling you that an authorization step is required. Just click Continue. Next, Google will ask you to authorize Mail Conductor to access your Gmail account. The permissions you grant allow Mail Conductor to find scheduled emails in your drafts folder, send the emails at the appropriate time, create new emails for recurring schedules, and access your current time zone from Google Calendar. Scroll down and click the Accept button at the bottom of the authorization screen to complete the installation process. This next screen is referred to as the Install page. It confirms that Mail Conductor is installed on your account and provides a handy reference to the format you'll need to use when scheduling emails. Additionally, at the bottom of the Install page, you'll find a couple of user configurable preferences as well as a link to uninstall Mail Conductor. There are currently only two user preferences. The first one indicates how often Mail Conductor will check your account for emails that might be due for delivery. The more frequent the check interval, the more accurately Mail Conductor can send your message at the preferred time. For instance, if you want to make sure that your emails are delivered within one minute of the scheduled time, you should select a one minute check interval. However, granularity at this level is seldom important for emails and checking every minute requires additional server re resources. Setting it to 5 or 10 minutes is more efficient and will still ensure that your email will be sent within a few minutes of its preferred delivery time. You can also suspend processing of scheduled emails temporarily by changing this setting to disabled. The second configurable setting indicates whether or not you want Mail Conductor to send you an email receipt by default each time a scheduled message is sent. This receipt is a brief email informing you that Mail Conductor delivered a particular message on your behalf. As we'll learn later, this is just the default setting and it can be overridden on a per email basis if desired. And if you'd like to receive a full copy of every message that Mail Conductor sends, simply add your address to the email's BCC field. Now let's switch to our Gmail account. If you now look in your Gmail account, you'll find that Google has sent you an email informing you that Mail Conductor has been installed, along with a button that allows you to uninstall it. You'll also find two new labels named Mail Conductor Error and Mail Conductor Outbox. The Outbox label is automatically applied by Mail Conductor to all scheduled messages. The error label is applied to any messages with which it had a problem processing. Mail Conductor will send you an email describing the problem at the time it assigns this label to a message. Now let's switch back to the install page. Now that it's installed, let's learn how to schedule a future dated email. This is done by appending some specially formatted text to the end of an email subject line. Mail Conductor calls this text the send instruction. Send instructions always begin with an ampersand symbol, followed by the date at which the email should be sent, or the date of the first email in the case of a recurring message. The date must be in a year, month, day format as illustrated at the top of the install page. Note that the ampersand should be preceded by at least one space, but must not be followed by one. Now let's create our first scheduled message in Gmail. Simply click Compose like you would when sending any other email. 
enter the recipients. In this case, I'll send it to myself. Let's enter a subject of Happy New Year. Now it's time to add the send instruction. I'll go ahead and indicate that this message should be sent on January 1st, 2016. Okay, as we can see here, this will schedule the email to be sent on January 1st, 2016 at 10 a.m. since we haven't designated a specific time. 10 a.m. is the default. Note that the leading zeros in the date are optional but can help with readability. The important thing to remember at this point is to not click the send button since that would send the email immediately. Rather, simply click the X in the top right part of the compose window. This will allow the email to remain in your drafts folders as we can see here. Now let's switch back to the install page. It's also important to note that the time at which the email should be sent is based on the sender's time zone as shown in their Google Calendar. You can see the current time zone by clicking this link on the install page. As we can see here, my time zone is set to mountain time. Therefore, the default 10 a.m will be based on your time zone, or if you specify a different time, it's always based on the sender's currently set time zone according to Google Calendar. Now let's switch back to Gmail. Once an email that includes a valid send instruction is in your drafts folder, Mail Conductor will process it within a few minutes based on your email check interval preference that we discussed earlier. At that time, if the message is properly formatted, Mail Conductor will apply the Mail Conductor Outbox label to the draft email. I'll pause the recording for a moment until this message is processed and we can see the label. We can now see that the Mail Conductor Outbox label has been applied to our draft email message. This label indicates that the message will be automatically delivered by Mail Conductor sometime in the future. Now let's look at the different send instructions that are supported by Mail Conductor. You can find a brief summary here on the install page, or you can click the link here for more detailed documentation on the MailConductor.com website. Now let's create a recurring email. First, click the Compose button. I'll go ahead and put myself in as the recipient so we can see when the message arrives and use a subject of weekly report reminder. And I will schedule this message to be delivered, the very first one in this recurring series, on February 2nd, 2015 at 5 p.m. Now it's important to note that whenever you designate a particular time for a message to be sent, it must be in 24-hour time. So that's why I'm using 1,700 hours here. And I will tell Mail, Con Mail Conductor that this message should repeat every week. Okay, I'm going to use today's date on this message so we can see what happens when Mail Conductor processes it. At this point, just close the Compose window without sending and let's check the drafts folder. So we can see here that the message is in our drafts folder, but it hasn't yet been labeled by Mail Conductor and it hasn't been delivered to our inbox. We'll pause here until the message is processed. Okay. Mail Conductor just processed our recurring message. Now we can see that the email has been delivered to our inbox. Notice that Mail Conductor removes the send instruction from the subject when the email is sent. Let's see what happened to the message in our drafts folder. Here we can see that a new draft message has been created with a send instruction for the next delivery date. 
Notice that Mail Conductor somewhat normalizes the send instruction for recurring emails. Mail Conductor will apply the Mail Conductor Outbox label the next time this message is processed, within a few minutes. We'll pause here for a moment until that happens. All right, we can see that Mail Conductor has processed our new recurring message because the Mail Conductor Outbox label has been applied. Now that this message is labeled, we can now find all scheduled messages in the Mail Conductor Outbox folder. Since the drafts folder can contain both scheduled and non-scheduled messages, it's probably more convenient to go straight to the Mail Conductor Outbox folder when looking for scheduled messages. So what if you want to modify or delete a scheduled message? You do it just like you would any other draft message. Go to the Drafts or Mail Conductor Outbox folder and change or discard the draft message. In this case, I'll go ahead and add an exclamation point to the end of the subject and change this to be sent at 9 a.m. rather than the default of 10 a.m. I'll click the X, which is for saving and closing, and see that the draft message has been updated. Now let's switch back to the install page and discuss a few more of the supported mail conductor send instructions. This instruction demonstrates how we can include an end date for a recurring message. In this example, the email will be first sent on January 15, 2016, and then repeated every three weeks until April 1st, exclusive, that is, up to but not including April 1st. With this next example, assuming that our send email receipts user preference is set to no, we can override that setting and send a receipt anyway just for this particular email. Similarly, if our send email receipts preference was set to yes, this example allows us to override that setting so that a receipt is not sent, but just for this email. The final example shows how you can schedule messages a certain number of days before the start of the next month. This makes it easy to do things like sending an email on the last day of every month or three days before the end of the month. Well, that pretty much covers how to send future dated and recurring emails from Gmail using the Mail Conductor service. If you have any questions, you can go to www.mailconductor.com to find detailed instructions here and a link to our support forum here. Well, thanks again for your interest in Mail Conductor and have a great day.